Alrighty, let's jump into the AW Dynamite Report here. It opened up with CM Punk and Dax Harwood, which was an excellent, excellent pro wrestling opening match. Just two guys. That, really good uh, match. Yeah, they worked a really good old school match. Fans I I, super into it. They were super into this entire show. Yeah. All sorts of great spots. And then finally, uh, Punk hit the went for the GTS. It got blocked. Uh, he was put in the sharpshooter. He reversed it into the Anaconda device for the submission. So uh, sharpshooter there, as we've been having a lot of teases for Bret Hart. And uh, CM Punk gets the win, and Dax Harwood was... Very disappointed. They're clearly turning babyface, by the way, as we learn later oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah, show. because the whole match, the, the gun club was at ringside um, just taunting FTR, taunting Dax. And they, um, when they were leaving, when, when uh, Cash was helping Dax to the back, they were taunting him again, and Dax gave them a dirty look. And, in fact, they are wrestling uh, the gun club next Wednesday. Um, yeah, this was the Bret Hart appreciation match because both of these guys have been on Twitter just... Um, Dax and Punk just praising Bret Hart and you know they tried to do a Bret Hart match that was the idea they did a hell of a job um, got the sharpshooter spot and everything in and uh, yeah I mean Dax is such a great worker I mean he really is he just everything he does if you know um, just just looks good so yeah uh, that was the best match on the show and the show had a wide variety of very entertaining wrestling. Okay, Jericho Appreciation Society backstage, and they did a promo, talked about the main event, and also made it clear to point out that Eddie Kingston, Santana, and Ortiz were nowhere to be found. Yeah, so obviously that match is coming up pretty soon. You know, Eddie Kingston, Santana, and Ortiz against Jericho and two other members of this society. We had an absolutely crazy match with the Hardys, Darby Allen, and Sting versus Private Party, Butcher, and Blade. And they brawled all over. It was a tornado tag, so it was everybody just brawling everywhere. Yeah. We had Sting doing a dive off the post. We had Darby Allen being thrown down concrete steps. We had Jeff Hardy doing a dive off the side of the building. He climbed a ladder, so he thought he was going to go off the ladder, but then he used the ladder to get on top of this giant ledge and did a senton off the ledge through Butcher and Blade and some tables. I mean, all sorts of crazy stuff. And then Matt uh, hit the twist of fate in the ring. And, Sting, Sting, uh, Sting hit the scorpion death drop at the same time. Yep. They kind of botched that a little bit. He was supposed to catch somebody in midair, but he fell down and then had a hell of a time right before. getting up. That was right before, yeah. But yeah, they hit the twist of fate and, and uh, scorpion death drop for the pin. And... Uh, Darby's limping around after the match, but they announced he's wrestling next week, so presumably he's fine. Yeah, yeah, he's supposed to wrestle Andrade, yes. um, but yeah, he was, uh, yeah, he was, he was limping. I was worried about him. Um, I'm worried about Sting. You know, Sting's 63 years old. He just had a birthday, and he's trying to keep up with everybody doing the modern style. I mean, he didn't do any of this stuff when he was 30. Um, and he's got a bad neck. I mean, man. Um, I mean, God bless him. I mean, he's 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 doing a million times better than you could ever expect. He's wrestling more than anyone thought he was going to wrestle. I mean, we figured he was going to do two, three matches a year. And, um, you know, he's doing in these tags. And, um, yeah, you know, he, I was uh, freaking Jeff jumping off of that. That he jumped off a freaking building, practically. It was insane. Um, but yeah, I thought, um, you know, basically real exciting match. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.